Hi everyone, and welcome to Slime Reviews. I'm Slime, and in this video, I will be reviewing Slime Obsidian. But first, if you're new to my channel, I want to again say welcome. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment if you enjoy this content. And now for our Slime Fam shoutouts. There are two of you, I and Honk. Thank you so much for all the support, and if you'd like a shout out like this, comment down below, hashtag slime fam. And with that, let's get into this review. This package got here in five days, and I did order from the shop's Black Friday deal. So for it to arrive in five days during a Black Friday deal is very fast. It did ship through FedEx too, which was a new thing I noticed with this shop, and I love FedEx because it's very reliable. The Black Friday deal was 30% off, so I wound up paying $59.47 with shipping and the discount for five 6.9 ounce size slimes. I wound up saving $20, which is just so cool. This is from the shop's Christmas holiday drop, and it is the only holiday slimes I ordered this year, which I'm kind of sad about, but I'm very excited to try these slimes out. It's been over a year that I've tried out Slime Obsidian, and this was the first shop I've ever purchased slime from, so it has a nostalgic place in my heart, and I am very, very excited to do this review. All the slimes did arrive bubble wrapped, and they included a care sheet slash business card along with a baggie full of borax. There were no extras in this package, but honestly, that's very common with Slime Obsidian, and I don't really mind it. It's just something to keep in mind. I also noticed that the shop changed their containers. They used to be shorter and flatter. Now they're a little bit taller, and I really do enjoy the new look of their containers. Their labeling is also very simple and clean, but they are not slime proof, so you have to be careful about getting slime on the labeling or else it will affect the label. And the five slimes I'll be reviewing are hot chocolate, peppermint ice cream, snowman fizz, winter solstice jelly, and Santa's Workshop. I am beyond excited to try out these slimes. Just as a reminder, I save all the ASMR till the end of the video, but feel free to use the chapters to skip around as you'd like. And with that, let's open these slimes. The first slime we're gonna look at is Winter Solstice Jelly. I paid $9.79, the original price is $13.99, and this is in a 6.9 ounce size. This is a beautiful blue jelly texture, since it has strawberry jam. I love the theme of the winter solstice. It's the first day of winter, and it's the day that the sun travels the shortest path through the sky, making it the shortest day and the longest night. I just love that and the aesthetic just seems on point with it. And the strawberry jelly scent is so good. It's somehow perfect for the theme and I don't understand why, but I really, really love it. It's so light and delicious. The add-ins are a bunch of iridescent fine blue glitters, some chunky star glitters, and there's also white and blue snowflake femo slices. There was even around five small white fake pearl beads. I seriously love the fine blue glitters that are added to this. It's a little bit hard to see on camera, but they are seriously just beautiful, and they basically just glow off of the slime. This camera does not do it justice. It really resembles twinkling snow. The one thing to keep in mind with the fine blue glitters is that they can stick to your hands a little bit, but that's why it's always good to wash your hands after playing, and it's very common with any glitter that's added to slime. This texture is very thick, and I really can't get over the blue color. It is very, very beautiful. This wasn't sticky at all, and I love seeing the add-ins when the texture is cleared up because they're very obvious and beautiful to see while you're playing. This jelly slime gives an amazing stretch and has very awesome finger pokes and loud bubble pops. After inflating, this does become a tiny bit tacky, but it's really not bad considering most jelly slimes become very tacky with inflation. Compared to most jelly slimes, this is basically not tacky at all. When this is fluffed up, it does tear a little bit because it's so thick, so it should be stretched slowly. This does give awesome sizzles and crackles when you try to deflate it, and it also becomes very clicky. When this is fluffed up, it's also a light blue color. 
and the fine blue glitter seemed to glow and bounce off of that lighter color even more. It just seriously resembles snow the more I play with it and I just really love that. It's just so fun and squishy when it is inflated and it does inflate a lot so you will need a spare container for afterward for the extra slime. And overall this is aging very well. It's not sticky wet or stiff after sitting for a couple weeks. It also clears back up to that beautiful darker blue color pretty quickly when you let it sit for a couple days. And I definitely recommend this texture, but maybe to someone who's not brand new to slime, because if you don't know what you're doing with the little stickiness, it could maybe be difficult to work with. But I seriously love this slime. It is one of my top top favorite slimes from this package. I just, I can't get over it. So for winter solstice, that is a beautiful 10 out of 10 slime. The next slime we're gonna look at is peppermint ice cream. I paid $9.79, although the price is originally $13.99, and this is in a 6.9 ounce size. This was listed as being a cloud cream texture, and it is scented as peppermint. I love the theme as just being a relaxing peppermint ice cream. It's just perfect for this time of year. The peppermint scent is very simple, but it is strong and yummy. This has peppermint Fimo slices, candy cane Fimo slices, and cute fake diamonds on top, along with some red red and white plastic sprinkles on top. The red added and seriously pop off of the white just so beautifully. The texture does have a very slight wet feeling at first when you go to touch it, but it's not bad. And it can be very common with some clay slimes. This is overall a very thick and dense cloud cream texture, but it's still easy to squish. And I just love this shop's cloud cream textures. They're very unique. This texture is also holdable and very spreadable. I loved spreading this and it has an easy stretch when you go to try to fluff it up. I love just how white this texture is because it just looks very clean. The red sprinkles unfortunately did bleed into the slime a very tiny bit, but it wasn't to the point where it affected the white color at all. It's just something to point out, but it didn't do anything negative to the slime itself. Sadly, there was a good amount of fallout with the add-ins, specifically the fake diamonds. They fell out a lot and it did take away from the experience a little bit which I was just a tiny bit sad about. There's also a good amount of instant snow residue left on my hands and on the table, which can be very common with these type of textures. Anything with instant snow does run the risk of leaving behind instant snow residue, and that did happen here, but it's just another good reason to wash your hands after playing. This texture overall is just great for beginner slimers. Any cloud cream texture is usually a perfect type of slime to look for if you're new to all of this, or if you you just want a relaxing slime that you don't have to worry about activating after having it sit around for a while, then this is just, again, so, so perfect. I love cloud cream textures for that reason. This does inflate a very tiny bit and it deflates very easily, so you will not need a spare container for afterward. And this is overall a very quiet slime. There's no pops or pokes from this. It has very light sizzles when trying to fluff this up, but that's about it. And this is aging very well. It's basically the same as what you see here, except I did have some of the red sprinkles bleed into the slime a little bit more, but it still hasn't affected the white color at all. I highly recommend a cloud cream texture from this shop. As aside from the add-ins falling out, I really enjoyed this texture. I would still consider this one of my top favorite slimes from this package. So for peppermint ice cream, because the add-ins did fall out of the slime a lot, I do have to fault it a tiny bit. So I'm gonna give this slime a nine out of 10 slime. The next slime we're gonna look at is hot chocolate. I paid $9.79, the original price being $13.99, and this came in a 6.9 ounce size. This is listed as being a thick and glossy texture scented as chocolate. The theme is of course based around hot chocolate, which is a delicious hot chocolatey drink that's very popular this time of year in the colder season. The chocolate scent is simple, light, and yummy. The add-ins are a little bit difficult to see in this slime, but they are some brown sprinkles, some small colorful round balls, and there's also a hot chocolate charm in there. The charm is very cute, but it wasn't very obvious in the slime. It also wasn't on the listing for this slime, so I didn't actually know 
know a charm was included with this. The shop doesn't actually mention when charms are included, so you usually can just tell if they are based off of the picture in the listing. And luckily, this charm wasn't sharp and it was very easy to remove from the slime. So because it wasn't sharp and a little dangerous, I'm not gonna take off a point because it actually was very slime friendly for being a hard plastic. The charm is also just so adorable and festive. Focusing more on the texture, I just love how thick and glossy this is. The finger pokes are just fantastic. And this stretches very, very well for being a thick slime. This has a sort of silky smoothness to the touch. So it's very fun to just poke at and the pops are just so loud. I honestly really love thick and glossies when they have add-ins because feeling the sprinkles in the thick smooth slime just feels so cool on the hands. This does become clicky with inflation and it isn't tacky, which I love. I didn't use any activator at all while playing with this slime, which is just very impressive. This also doesn't tear at all when stretching. And again, it's very thick so that that is also very impressive. I love this shop's thick and glossy textures. I believe this is the second one I've had from them and I am never disappointed. This does inflate a good amount so you will need a spare container for the extra slime afterward. And I'm just in love with the beautiful brown color. It's just so accurate to hot chocolate and this is aging just beautifully. It's not wet, sticky, or stiff. It gets very glossy again after sitting for a couple days. I highly recommend a thick and glossy glossy texture. It's somewhat good for beginner slimers. It just might get a little tricky the more it ages and melts down, but so far I've barely needed to activate this at all yet. It's seriously one of my top favorite slimes from the order. So for hot chocolate, that is a beautiful 10 out of 10 slime. The next slime we're gonna look at is Snowman Fizz. I paid $9.80, originally the price is $13.99, and this is in a 6.9 ounce size container. It's listed as being a snow fizz texture since it is Pop Rocks. The theme is based around snowmen and or the snow. I love the theme and this smells amazing. I don't know if you know what Pop Rocks are, but they're a type of candy and this is just a sweet, delicious scent. It's very unique and I just think that it goes with the theme very well, although it is very random. It's just so yummy and makes my mouth water. The add-ins are some blue plastic sprinkles snowman and snowflake femo slices and an adorable snowman charm. The charm was on top of the slime making it obvious to see and it was not sharp and it was very easy to remove from the texture. This is a layered snow fizz with blue at the bottom and a thin white layer on top. The plastic snow is in a clear slime base and this was very fun to mix together. It becomes a light blue color. It did have a slight stickiness at first when I went to touch it, but with a tiny bit of activator it went away. And this texture isn't super packed with plastic snow, which makes the plastic snow look a little like clumped snow in the clear slime if that makes sense. I just, I love it. It's very cute and the plastic snow isn't rough on the hands either. This is very easy to stretch and it also creates very easy bubble pops. The light blue color with the white plastic snow seriously resembles real life snow. There's like that blue hue with the white. I'm just in love with the look of this. When inflated, this does get tacky, but it's also just so squishy and airy and sizzly and clicky. All the ease, I really, I love what this slime turns into when it's inflated. It also can make some awesome finger pokes when it's fluffed. I'm just in love with everything about this, especially the sizzles and the scent. It's just so squishy and fun to continuously inflate. I did have a little bit of activator on my hands while filming this inflated because again, it does get tacky, but that's very common with textures like this when they're fluffed up. This is also a thick snow fizz texture and it didn't tear. It stretched awesomely, so that is also a very impressive thing to note. There was no plastic snow fallout as well and you will need a spare container for extra slime afterward. After having this sit for a couple weeks it was slightly sticky like it was when it first arrived but with a little bit of activator it was totally fine and that went away. I sadly do not recommend this slime to beginner slimers because it can be a little 
little bit difficult to manage when it's fluffed up, but if you love a good snow fizz texture, you should definitely try one of Slime Obsidian's. I was so happy I got to try this out. I was just in love with this, and I do consider this one of my top top faves from this package because I just can't get over it. So for Snowman Fizz, that is a beautiful 10 out of 10 slime. The last slime we're going to look at in this review is Santa's Workshop. I paid $9.80. Originally the price is $13.99 and this is in a 6.9 ounce size container. This was listed as being a glimmer texture. I believe Slime Obsidian lists their bingzu textures as glimmer, but I can definitely see why they do that because the bingzu beads really shine in a beautiful iridescent way. This is also scented as cranberry orange. The theme is around Santa's workshop and I love the scent. It's very unique to me and it just is very Christmassy. It's difficult to explain, but I love the cranberry orange scent a lot more than I thought I would. The add-ins are some green and red plastic sprinkles, Christmas tree femo slices, and two charms on top, one being Santa and the other is a present. I just found the charms to be adorable, so cute, and they were very obvious on top of the slime and they weren't sharp either. They were easy to remove from the slime. So although Slime Obsidian doesn't list whether a slime has a charm or not and the charms are already placed in the slime, I personally don't mind it from this shop because the charms are, in my opinion, just very slime friendly. I love the green color of this slime and the iridescent glow off the beads just adds a beautiful touch to this. The clear base is what's colored green as the beads are transparent and this is packed with bingsu beads. I just love how crunchy this is. The texture was slightly sticky at first, but that can be normal with textures like this and with a little bit of activator, it does go away. This was just very thick and crunchy. It also stretches well and it doesn't tear when being fluffed up. I can't stop pointing out that when slimes are thick and they don't tear from fluffing, that is extremely impressive and I love that. Although this doesn't tear when stretching, it isn't extremely easy to stretch because it is very packed with those beads and it is a thick clear slime. So just keep in mind it takes a tiny bit of effort to fluff this up properly, but I personally don't mind it. The ASMR is just fantastic. I just I can't get over the crunchy bubble pops. And this does inflate a good amount. It does become slightly tacky with inflation, so I wouldn't recommend this slime to someone who's brand new to slime, but I really enjoy this if you like a good crunchy texture. And honestly, the tackiness isn't bad. It's pretty manageable and common with textures like this. And because this does inflate a lot, you will need a spare container for afterward for the extra slime. But overall, this was awesome. There was no bead fallout and just lots of bubble pops. This is aging perfectly too. It's not at all sticky after sitting for over a week. It fluffs back up easily and it's just so thick and satisfying to inflate. I do recommend this to someone with experience in slime that likes crunchy textures like I said before because this shop makes a great bingzu texture and if this comes back next year around the holiday season definitely give this a try. I wish I could share the scent with everyone and the charm was just adorable. I was very very happy with this. It is a perfect amazing holiday slime and this is definitely one of my top favorites from the package as well so for Santa's workshop that is a beautiful 10 out of 10 slime
thank you so much for watching my video. And check out more of Slime Obsidian. I will have links down below to their Instagram and shop. Overall, I was very happy I got to try out this shop before the year was over. I love Slime Obsidian's slimes. All of these were top favorites to me in their own different unique ways. Two of them being top top favorites because they were just that good. They just have great quality in their textures and scents. And I highly recommend trying the shop out if you haven't already. Also, if you're curious, I'm on Instagram too. And TikTok. So follow me if you'd like to see slime. And just slime. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next year.